All right, this is KQ4CID. My name is Justin, and we're going to build some tape measure Yagi today. Uh, we're going to attempt to anyway. Here's all the tools that we're going to need. I always got my little help right here too. But you got a tape measure, what you're going to cut up, and we got some tin snips and some fittings, some coax from old antenna. All right, we're going to get started. I'm going to try to walk through it here a little bit. First piece is going to be 11 and 3 quarter. Uh, I ain't got no hacks on. I got one of these little guys right here and they work really good. Or anything up to ancient quarter pipe. First piece, six to seven eighths. Here's the next piece. And the next piece is 18 inches. I'm supposed to have a T right here, but I ain't got one, so I'm going to use a crossbow. Looks like so it out there. From center to center is supposed to This one back to this one. It's supposed to be eight inches. Now we're gonna cut our tape measure off. Okay, hold that down there for me. You can see more about what I'm doing. We're gonna cut this off at two inches. Just This piece is going to be 41 and 3 quarters of an inch. It's going to be the reflector. I'm going to cut us a director element, 35 and an eighth. Director. Now we're going to have two at 17 and 3 quarters of an inch. 17 and 4 quarters. Two, so I can do a little solder. Sandpaper really don't matter what they use, it just takes longer with others. As you can see, there's one step I did forget. I gotta have a five inch piece of wall. But it's gonna use this yellow here, so it'll match tape measure. You know, just for cosmetics. Exactly five inch piece of wall. Probably can't see that on camera, but I'll try my best to show it to you. Exactly five inches. This is just a old CB antenna that come from Walmart that I have had forever and ever. We're going to strip a little bit of this big. Very carefully, not to cut the braid. Just like that. Over to Ohms. Should be 
Get I make sure it's not a cold joint. Make sure thing solders up real nice. You want a whole big bunch, but you want enough to make a stick. Take this wire out. But lay over to cool. Grab our coax in. I like to do all my soldering before I put it on. It don't matter what I'm doing, if I'm soldering a car or making an antenna, I always do it the same way. So we're cooled off the touch. Both sides is good. Oh yeah. Yeah, don't make fun of my joints. See? Center, ground with a hairpin match between them. The only thing that I don't recommend doing zip ties on is your coax. Find center on both of these. BR meter, and over here to a short pole, there's the Aggie. All in one piece, it's got the hairpin match. All right, the Aggie is up. I already got her tuned in. On 146, 520. I'll flip her over to forward, let you see that it's set. Flip her down. About a 1.2 and a half, 1.3, about six watts or so.